building an island vlog, I think we're gonna call this thing. Just kidding. <laughs> I just fucked with Kyle. <laughs> anyway, all right, we're in the no wake zone. All right, so we're going out to the uh, to Muscle Island, and they had, you'll see Frank's out there. He's got three different machines on the island. He's got the big excavator, the mini one, and the bobcat. He's working on the seawall, bringing all the cement over and all the stuff that we got to work on there. But in the meantime, he has taken out the big stumps for in the next two weeks when we do the foundation. So they filled up with water from it raining. So my idea is, uh, shout out Bugs Vargo. I don't know if he's still alive, but Bugs Vargo was the guy in the coal mine that was the pump guy. So he was the guy that ran all the sump pumps. So I had the idea today, I got me a sump pump. I should get my ass out there, sump pump this water out of there. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, so I, uh, I'm out here, uh, a little bit of a shit show, bought me a generator, got me some gasoline, uh, got me some, I guess, some terrible ass hoses because they didn't really work. So I went back to the marina. Shout out whoever I took this from their dock. <laughs> Guy hooked it up and uh, it was uh, approved by the Lake Marina. And we're going out right now to see if my uh, sump pump will work. And if not, I'm getting out the fucking bucket. And we're going to do this shit old school there style. So my dock strap is on the wrong side for the island, but my makeshift dock. But at the, at the marina, it's on the right side. I got two of them on this side. Oh, yep. I already made the mistake of like letting this slide down and then it got wet <laughs> and then tight at the bottom. <laughs> And then I had to fucking, I was like hanging over trying to get it into the waters. Fucking suck. They used to bring their buffalo here to fucking like. There's all kinds of cool history, Cole. I think it's one of the oldest, um, like, lakes in Ohio. Yeah, like, besides, like, man-made, you know what I mean? All right, so I got this old hose. My original hose, which is like an expo hose, whatever they're called, it couldn't get enough, like, pressure going, so I'm hoping this regular hose will work better. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Frank's got all the Tonka trucks out, all the Tonka toys out, moving all the uh, the base level broken concrete up for the seawall over there. A lot of shit going on here.
need a, a better hose for my situation I got. So I've been out here since like 11 o'clock trying to do this. Content Kyle knows what kind of hose we need. Me and Cole agreed that Content Kyle was right. Now we're going to True Value to get us a hose so I can sump pump this shit out of the, out, so I can get the wetness out of the hole. <laughs> Fuck yeah. All right, so the other day, I did what every new boater does at some point. They get their dock, dock line wrapped around the fucking prop. And I was not a guy that carried a pen knife. But now, I'm a guy who carries a pen knife. Just saying. Now, when I was a kid, I used to carry a pen knife. I just got away from it. But it's like one of those things where now I got no choice because I was literally stuck out on the boat and all I had was a chainsaw and I almost had the chainsaw on my way out of there which would have been bad so from now on carry a pen knife so don't fuck with me I got a pen knife now hopefully this shit works I'm about to see yeah motherfucker Glad it fucking worked. Ain't my ass all day. Alright, we'll fucking work. 